The boss of one of the UK's largest haulage companies has told BBC News that the number of illegal immigrants trying to enter the UK is the worst he's ever seen, and he now fears for the safety of his drivers. Tensions have been rising in the port of Calais, and just last week, 24 migrants were discovered in the back of a truck that had just crossed the channel. Well, our correspondent Tim Muffet is at the haulage firm in West Yorkshire for us this morning. Tim, good morning. Yes, good morning to you. This is the logistics centre for Brian Yearly Continental. Been going for almost 40 years driving trucks across Europe. And we've seen recently, haven't we, on our screens and our papers, images from Calais. Desperate people, desperate to enter the UK via whatever means they can. Hiding within lorries, hiding sometimes underneath lorries. And there is a widespread view now that though there is sympathy for their plight, the situation is quite simply out of control and that not only are the migrants' lives being threatened, but so too are the drivers who are just doing their job as they go through Calais. Um, I took, took the journey with one driver to see the kind of challenges they're facing. Hiya, good to meet you. 30 miles from Calais. Checking the card, make sure it's not being cut. And, it's and Craig Birkinshaw is checking his lorry before continuing his journey. They hang on to the underside of the trailer, and particularly onto the rear axles, they lay across them. Like many drivers, Craig won't be stopping beyond this point. Refuelling and parking around Calais now is a total no-go area. It would be illegal immigrants. They're that desperate to get to England now. They're um, taking unnecessary risks to climb aboard my vehicle and other people's vehicles. In these past six months, it's getting absolutely out of control. Earlier this year, a BBC team filmed the desperate risks some are prepared to take to enter the UK. A driver and their employer can each be fined up to £2,000 per illegal passenger and have their operating licence revoked. Last year, the Home Office issued penalty notices totalling £1 million, not just to British companies. They said you must pay. If not, your truck don't go, can't go to, to England. That was the British government yeah. who's fined you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say to the British government? It's unfair. My driver checked his truck and he didn't see any, anybody on, but uh, one stay on the truck. For me, uh, it's an English problem, not a French problem, and driver problem, and whole year problem. It's an English problem. As we approach Calais, we see more and more people by the side of the road. See the one there with the doors open? Some on railway tracks some approaching lorries that have had to stop. And this is an everyday occurrence. I understand with every respect uh, the position they're in. My first and foremost responsibility is the protection of myself and the truck and the load. Employing all sorts of methods to try to slow you down, standing in front of the truck on the main roads, pushing prams in front of the truck, anything to slow you down to try to, try to gain access to your trailer. Earlier this week, the government pledged £12 million to help French authorities improve security. But for many, action is long overdue. Just days before we filmed, clashes broke out in Calais between police and migrants. And not for the first time, Craig's company had to divert drivers to Zeebrugge in Belgium. It's a big issue for us. I mean, obviously, customers want stuff in as quickly as we can possibly get them. And if we have to start diverting vehicles through what's happened at Calais, driver security, etc., it just makes deadlines difficult to meet. Those found hidden in vehicles or trains trying to enter the UK are classed by the Home Office as clandestine passengers. Two years ago, just over 11,500 were caught. This year, the number's risen to over 19,000. Everyone's just washing their hands of the problem. Like, say the French are blaming the British, the British are saying it's the French. It seems to be that the driver is always to blame. Back in England, journey over, and a final check to ensure the lorry wasn't tampered with. It's a clear, but for more and more lorry drivers, journeys are not going to plan. As I mentioned in the piece there, £12 million pledged by the Home Office to help security in Calais. They want to work more closely with authorities in France to improve the situation. Kevin is the boss here at Brian Yardley Continental. Is that going to be enough to solve the situation? Uh, I don't think it'd be enough, no. I do think it's great that the two governments are working together to, to, to help with this issue. It's a very serious issue, especially driver safety. Now you talk about driver safety. What, how big a threat is it to your drivers? Every day, every night, you know, these the, my drivers are, are on their own. They're confronted sometimes by 5, 10, 15, 20 people. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great danger to them, and I worry constantly about it. And finally, do you fear that 
this is too little too late? No, I'm just glad of the involvement now. You know, I'm really pleased that, as I say, that the two governments are working together to, to resolve this issue. It's, it's been left to the hauliers for too long to police it themselves. Okay, thanks very, uh, for so much indeed, Kevin. Let's have a quick chat to, to Leslie from the Road Haulage Association. Um, what's your reaction to this, to this kind of development now? Do you think this will be enough to, to solve the situation? Well, the Road Haulage Association is absolutely delighted. We've been working tirelessly with the Home Office to get some protection for the road haulage community and in particular the, the drivers. I think what we need to remember is that Calais is just really the, the bottleneck and we need to look, for, look to our, our partners throughout mainland Europe to patrol their borders to stop the migrants uh, crossing um, France in order to get to Calais. A driver can be fined up to £2,000 per illegal passenger. Briefly, is that fair that drivers get a financial penalty? Well, I think there needs to be something to dissuade uh, anybody from assisting in the transport of illegal immigrants to the, to the UK. They're not assisting, though, are they? People are breaking onto their lorries. Yeah, they are, and drivers do feel that actually they are as, as criminals when they are victims. But if drivers do follow the procedures of the Home Office, and if haulage companies work with them and patrol them and empower them, they have a, a form of appeal and they are winning and anybody in any doubt just needs to ring the Road Haulage Association and they will give every assistance. Okay Leslie thanks ever so Thank much you. indeed well clearly a lot of people of the view that the relief something has been done but concern about the safety of drivers as they make their way through Calais and they are simply after all just doing their job. Tim Muffett thank you very much.